Do you have a Fitbit band that's bulging and is starting to wear out? Well, today I'm going to show you how to put on a new one without having to buy a new Fitbit. Welcome to the show. My name is Domingo, and if you have a Fitbit Charge HR, then this is probably what you're going to see, a little bulge here, and the sides are starting to come up a bit. So I just recently ordered a new Fitbit band. So it comes with a replacement band, screwdriver, and a pick tool, and a sleeve so that it gives a little bit of a decorative feel to it. So we're just going to open this thing up here, and here is the actual replacement band. So it's just like the one that... I am currently going to replace. So notice the differences here. No bulge here and a new glass screen and this other one is cracked here. So we're just going to put this aside here and then it also comes with uh, two pick tools here and then it also comes with a mini Phillips head screwdriver in the bag. This came really quickly. I only ordered this a few days ago and it was amazing. So I love that two-day shipping. So this is the screwdriver that it comes with. First, you need to remove the screws from your Charge HR. So we are going to slowly do this. So you place your screwdriver in and then you don't lose these screws because you'll need them when you're putting it back on. So the best thing to do is just to put it under here so that if you accidentally drop it, you won't lose it. So we're going to first unscrew it. So Remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So we're going to just loosen the first screw here. So as you can see, the screws are located at the corners of the Fitbit bracelet. So there's one screw here, there's one screw here, and then there are two other screws right here. As you can see, the band is starting to pop out from the side, so that's not a good sign. So might need to clean it as well here, but we'll do that another time. So you're going to first remove these four screws. So we're going to do that right now. And ugh, look at that crust. And these are very tiny screws, so you have to make sure you do not lose these whatsoever. As you can see, very tiny. So don't lose them. I encourage you not to lose them because if you lose them, then it's just going to be really tough for you to wear a Fitbit without them. So you can tell I haven't um, unscrewed these. So. There's uh, two screws out. So we have removed the screws from the Fitbit bracelet. So what we're going to do next is we are going to peel the sides and remove the plastic here like this. So as you can see we removed the sides here. So this is from the old bracelet as you can see. The back part of the bracelet can simply slide out like this but you have to make sure that you carefully take it out so that you don't break it. So I think this is where these tools come in. So you take this tool and then you unlock the clips on the sides. It's pretty straightforward but make sure that you don't hit the clips. This is like a digger that digs out and scoops around it. It's like a precision picker. So use this to scoop it out like this. So the tracker is just a really small device here and there we go. It peels out like this. And then there is a NFC film that is located here. So then what you do, there's the tracker and then there's the battery here. So you put this thing down and then what you do is for this other band you have to remove this film very carefully and place it onto the new band. So we're going to get the new band right here. So this is the brand new band. Papa's got a brand new band. Exactly. And I made sure that the bracelet was the right size. And the best thing to do to take care of this is to make sure that it is just completely cleaned. And, well, you can't really clean up this bracelet, but that's the thing, though. The best way instead of buying a new Fitbit is just to get a new band and like you've seen it's easy to take out because there are these clips on the sides that go onto the tracker so this is where it faces up. So then what you do next is you take the film out of this old band. So I believe it just peels out so let's just peel it out here because this is the NFC film. Be careful with this. So gently peel out the NFC film. 
All right. And then what we do is we stick it onto the new band, like so. Sorry. We stick it onto the new band, like so. And make sure that it doesn't block the screen. So there we go. NFC film is on, like that. And then it will stick properly. So make sure that it's properly adhered to. And as you can see, everything shows up there. And you don't want to tinker any tinker with this. And there's the battery right there. So if you wanted to know what the inside of a Fitbit Charge HR looked like, this is it. There's your LCD screen. There's your connectors and your PC and your motherboard. And then there's the battery. There's the heart rate monitor. And there's the greasy, grimy charge port. So after we've done that, what we do next is we place our new, well not new, but our tracker into our new band. So you just have to make sure to properly seat it in like so. I'm just going to do that quickly. You have to line up the screw holes properly like this. As you can see now, our new band is securely on. It didn't require a lot of tinkering. It just required a lot of careful placement of the band and the button and the screws. And as you can see, it's a completely new reinforced band. So that's how you do it. You just have to be really careful with not losing the screws and making sure that you clean this properly. So if you found this helpful, leave it in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. And then we're gonna unscrew here. Okay, wow, that's really crusty. Not the clown kind either. So, just gonna keep removing the screw. Then they just, nope. Oh. Careful, Domingo, don't lose that screw. Oh, I just lost the screw. Okay, that's not good.